After many months of decontamination and decommissioning work, TEPCO has reached an important milestone, the successful removal of all fuel assemblies from the Unit 4 reactor building spent fuel storage pool. The work was completed on December 22, 2014. 長い作業になるなと思ったんですけども、安全な方向、いい方向に改善をしながらま作業を進めてまいりました。Removing the fuel from the reactor building damaged by a hydrogen explosion was an unprecedented challenge for TEPCO employees. As Unit 4 was undergoing routine maintenance at the time of the accident, all 1,535 fuel assemblies were stored inside the spent fuel pool. Removing the fuel from the damaged reactor building to a secure place was an essential step to enhance the safety of workers and the surrounding community. Before removing the fuel, the workers had to remove the debris that was scattered on the rooftop of the damaged reactor building. The challenge facing the workers was enormous in an environment where the wreckage might further collapse if procedures were not followed precisely. The workers inspected the site daily, reviewing procedures repeatedly. After the wreckage was cleared, safety was enhanced with no further risk of large wreckage collapsing. Next, work to construct a cover adjacent to the reactor building was begun for the purpose of installing a fuel handling machine and preventing radioactive material dispersion. To avoid unnecessary radiation exposure, the structure materials were built in advance, off-site. Other methods to prevent radiation exposure were introduced, such as enabling work to be performed inside the thick core of the structure. The structure of the cover, a cantilever design, does not touch or weigh down on the reactor building itself. The structure required about the same amount of steel as the Tokyo Tower and is designed to resist an earthquake on the same scale as that of the Tohoku Pacific Ocean earthquake. The structure employs the highest Japanese technology and is the first of its kind in the world. After completion of the structure, fuel removal was begun. However, before fuel removal could commence, pieces of debris that had fallen into the spent fuel pool had to be carefully taken out one by one. After preparations were complete, fuel removal commenced on November 18, 2013. The fuel assemblies were cautiously, individually removed and transferred to a special cask container at speeds as low as one centimeter a second. The transfer was monitored by underwater cameras and other measuring instruments, since tiny pieces of debris could possibly be hidden inside the gap between the fuel and the rack. All work was done underwater, which provided a shield from the radiation. Safety was ensured by an automatic stop function, which would activate if the sensor detected any excessive weight while lifting the fuel. Drills were conducted repeatedly before the actual fuel removal. The fuel placed inside the cask was brought down to ground level by crane, transported to the common pool or the Unit 6 spent fuel pool and safely stored. All 1,535 fuel assemblies were removed successfully and without incident as of December 22, 2014. The work of the construction of this work has been a great pleasure. It is the skill and commitment of our engineers and workers at every level and of the many other organizations in Japan and from around the world that enabled TEPCO to meet this challenge. 
The successful completion of the removal of fuel from Unit 4 allows us now to turn our attention to the challenge of removing fuel from the other reactors, Units 1 to 3. With the benefit of the experience at Unit 4, TEPCO will be able to achieve the task even more safely and efficiently.